Welcome back to Pediatric Calculations. Let's talk about pediatric urine output. How do you calculate for peds urine output? What is the normal urine output for pediatrics? Well, let's start with adults. Hopefully someone said 30 ml per hour or greater than 30 ml per hour. How about pediatrics? What's normal? Depending on the textbook that you look at, you'll find different ranges based on different age groups. So you'll find a good range between 0.5 to 3 ml per kilogram per hour. For me, the easiest to remember is greater than 1. Huh? Let me explain. Now let's say you're getting a report from the previous shift who said that for 12 hours, the patient had a urine output of 300 ml. Now determine how much this patient's urine output is. Don't tell me if he's peeing enough or not enough. Tell me exactly how much in ml per hour. We calculate this by dividing volume over time. So 300 ml divided by 12 hours is equal to 25 ml per hour. If this were an adult patient, what do we do? We either reassess or offer fluids or both. But this is pediatric, so we take one more step. It's volume over time over patient's weight. Remember that we incorporate patient's weight in calculating for pediatric urine output. So let's divide 25 ml per hour by 22 kilograms. And we get how much? 1.1 ml per kilogram per hour. This is greater than one. So if our kid is asymptomatic, what do we do? Hopefully not nothing, but we continue to monitor. Well, five hours now had gone by and he still hasn't peed. He's not giving you anything and the doctor is a little concerned that he hasn't gone. He says, could you please recalculate the patient's urine output? Our volume still the same, but the time lengthened to 17 hours and he still weighs 22 kilograms. Now let's recalculate. Remember volume over time over patient's weight. What is his pediatric urine output? Yes, it's 0.8 ml per kilogram per hour. Even before seeing this kid, we would have a list of things in our gut telling us what is causing this lower urine output. Well, technically on some textbook, this is still normal. How would I know? I would assess, I would go back in the room and gather more data, look up lab results, see if there are other symptoms incorporated with this urine output. This way, when we call the doctor and give a report, we can paint a better picture of the patient and give a better recommendation. Any questions? We will now pause the video to discuss any concerns or questions you may have.